All right, it's Carcat 36, and we are finally going to do our turn for Japan. Show you what I did here. Um, so we did not declare war. Uh, so this is Schultze uh, versus uh, Crockett uh, with a technology twist. The twist is that each nation gets to choose uh, a technology first turn, and then after that, it's luck of the dice, but you are guaranteed one successful roll. So if there's no roll for success, you will get one, but luck will, and your choice of charts, and then luck will determine your success or failure. So that injects technology into the game in a big way, of course, and uh, yeah. So I did have to do some updates on uh, edits, but not too bad. Had to get that right. So I'm going to pull forward uh, this. Um, so you have a screen. Read on this. All right, what are we doing? We are going to, after a great deliberation by three, one carrier, um, this is my experiment this time, one carrier per turn, uh, three infantry, three mech, and one transport. At the end of this, I'll tell you my thinking. Uh, this is a KJF strategy by the Allies, so um, survival will not be easy, so we'll see if I can... Uh, survive. So I've postponed going to war with the Allies, and instead I'm going to try to make some money in China. I considered doing quite a bit of stuff, uh, but then gave up on Sea King and gave up uh, and sent everything into Kansu. And I did that to eliminate the Chinese units and make some money. We also declared war on France. I will get this two bucks. I should have done that turn one. And you can do uh, declare war in France without going to war against the Allies. Okay, and let me just move back and uh, start reading some of that stuff. Okay, so I do send one tank to Shenxi and then to Kansu. I do send one mech and one infantry to Kansu. Two bombers will go to Kansu. Okay, that's how that all shakes out. All right, and then I send three infantry from Yunnan to French Indo. Um, I do pick up one infantry off Palau and move it back to uh, move it to Carolyn. The fleet stays in general. The fleet stays in thirty-three. Although I do mess around with the composition of the air force. One carrier does move to 33, how, and then one carrier will move to 36. One transport moves from 19 to um, 36. Yep, and the infantry is just going to walk from King C to, I think it's Queen C. Yeah, it's going C. Uh, three infantry are going to... Uh, two artillery are going to walk from Hunan to Queen C. Three infantry are going to walk from Hunan to Queen C. Uh, destroyer moves from 33 to 36. That's real. And a carrier. So the composition of this will be two, two, and one. Two cruisers, two, two destroyers. One aircraft carrier and three transports. So I'm trying to achieve a, all my fighters out here, uh, which I believe is going to be... Um, Nine, um, nine fighters are going to be out here. 
eight on the boats and one on the island. I believe that's how it works. And then... Yeah, and I think I actually have to use the edit button for that. So there should be two, uh, they'll end up two uh, divers on Caroline and one fighter. And there ends up, I believe there ends up four divers in Quang C. Uh, infantry from Kui Chow to Hunan, infantry from Hopai to Kui Chow. We're trying to uh, make it so that we have a very, very warm, inviting invitation, uh, uh, inviting um, reception into uh, Yunnan when you bring your British troops in. So please, please step into uh, Yunnan and we'll give you some tea. At the Battle of Quang Si, I will open up the uh, right panel so we can see some dice rolls. I'm going to reduce this. Roll this. Very exciting battle. Uh, this is uh, five versus four. And I get three hits first turn. Oh, and there's no Chinese hits. Two more hits to finish today with a miss. So, very fortunate for me. Uh, some of my unlucky battles. Some of the luck is turning out. Evening out, I should say. Bombers land in Suiyan. Uh, I do send two tactical bombers to Quang C to C zone 19 because because of that American bomber obviously I mean it's pretty unusual that you would send your bomber against an aircraft carrier but could happen so let's protect that thing uh, this ends up being the configuration here ends up being three, three um, let's fix this The configuration here ends up being three mech in Kiang C, Kiang Su, and then the aircraft carrier and transport are going to come out of Shang Tung with one infantry going there. And you'll see that that's the way it ends up. Um, that's I'm trying to work on that configuration. I did not succeed, and then finally I do succeed. After an edit. So it's three uh, mech and uh, one, three mech and King Su and one infantry and then the transport and carrier. We're off of Shantung. All right, let's take a look at the money and then I will go over the recap. Uh, we end with $38. All right, let's do the recap. So in Manchuria, holding fast, our 13 infantry, 2 artillery, and 1 anti-aircraft. There are 5 infantry and 3 anti-aircrafts in Japan. There is a blocking destroyer in 15. 16. There is an infantry in Shantung. Oops. And three mech in Kiang Su. There's a carrier and a transport and two um, divers in Okinawa. I guess I should really have gone to uh, Season 6.
I think that's fine. In Quang C is four artillery, seven infantry, and four divers. French Indo has three. Um, and I took that over. In 36, there are two destroyers, two cruisers, three transports, and one carrier. In Suyuan are two bombers. In Kansu are uh, one tank, one mech, and one infantry. Palau has no infantry this turn, but in 33 there are four carriers, two battleships, one destroyer, two subs, one transport. On the ground here is our, our four infantry, one anti-aircraft, and one artillery, um, two divers, and one fighter. And, of course, um, on the carriers are four fighters. Lots of pips coming at you. No declaration of war. 38 IPCs. All right. That is card 36. Out.